All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're you're welcome to do Master Harold and the Boys as sort of an exercise in understanding class narrative, but we'll skip it for our intents and purposes. Understanding the other place. Um, let's start with Hamlet. Who's the hero in Hamlet? Hamlet, there we go, good, okay. Hamlet is our hero. Who is his helper? Horatio. Horatio, right? Does anybody else help Hamlet? The ghost. The ghost could be seen as a helper. That's good. I like that. We question the ghost, though. We're sure of, of Horatio's loyalties, but the ghost, we're not really sure what its motive is. So place it after Horatio. Yeah. Um, what is the objective of Hamlet's quest? Revenge. It's not murder, it's revenge. There's a difference between the two of them. Yes, he needs to be revenged. Who's the bad guy? Who's the, the uh, antagonist? Claudius. Claudius. Uh, and? Polonius. And? <laughs> Everyone else. Yeah, exactly. If you're not Horatio, you're probably an antagonist to, or, or Fortinbras, you're probably an antagonist to, to Hamlet and Hamlet. Good. Uh, who sends him on the quest? <laughs> That's a ghost. The sender would probably be the ghost. Good. How about Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? Here's where we start to see a breakdown in this formula. <coughs> Who are the heroes in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. It's like titular characters. They do that for a reason. Uh, who are the helpers in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? <laughs> Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. You could also argue that the actor is a really bad helper. He's trying. Or he says things that should help them, but they don't really understand him. So he's not really a helper. Right. What is the object of the quest in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? To discover the source of Hamlet's lunacy. To discover the source of Hamlet's lunacy, right? It's the same problem they have in the play Hamlet. Uh, who are the bad guys? Here's an interesting question. Who are the bad guys in Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead? I know we haven't finished it yet. But has an antagonist presented his or herself? Hamlet stands in the way of their objective, right? They're trying to discover what his madness is. He's not giving up the answer. Yes? Can it be like the king and queen? The king and queen, uh, as in? I would call them the senders, right? They gave him the mission to discover the source of his lunacy. Yeah? What role do the, the actors, the team of actors, that's a really good question. Helpers? Really bad helpers? <laughs> but only from the perspective of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. They're great helpers from the perspective of the audience. We, as uh, through, through dramatic irony, we get everything that they're saying. You're in a play! You just want to scream it at them on stage. But, but they don't get it. So they're victims of their own ignorance. And their helpers are not good helpers. Yeah. OK. Could Rosencrantz and Guildenstern also be the antagonists? In a play in which people sit around and talk to each other for the majority of the play, yeah, it is their own ignorance that works against them as well. So in a way, you could put Rosencrantz and Guildenstern in almost all of those boxes. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, hang on just a sec. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so <laughs> last year we watched 